The Biden family is under renewed scrutiny after an FBI whistleblower form has surfaced with new allegations of bribery. One America's chief White House correspondent, Chanel Rion, joins us live from the White House. Hello, Chanel. The whistleblower form alleges criminal activity related to Joe Biden and a foreign national. Now, Congress has taken action. How has the White House responded so far? That's right. Well, well, Sonny, the White House has been very elusive about all of this and very dismissive. So on Wednesday, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer, issued a subpoena to the director of the FBI, Chris Wray, asking for any details surrounding this June 2020 uh, FBI form that allegedly has details about Joe Biden as vice president taking uh, some kind of influential uh, bribery schemes and using it to direct policy. This was supposedly put on a form that was submitted in June of 2020. The whistleblower is, according to Comer, uh, protected by Congress and is separate from the IRS whistleblower that we've been talking about for the last few weeks. Uh, Comer says that this whistleblower has come forward and they would like more information about those forms. The letter describes, quote, an alleged criminal scheme involving Biden and a foreign national related to the exchange of money for policy decisions when Joe Biden was vice president. And this, of course, includes a, quote, precise description about that transaction. This is new. This is potentially a breakthrough for this this investigation because it's finally addressing a Biden that isn't Hunter Biden or Jim Biden, Joe's brother. So this is this is actually addressing Joe Biden himself. And when confronted by this question in the briefing room, the National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby was immediate to just dismiss this and say he had nothing to say about this report. But when it finally came to the point where the White House did have to respond to this. Uh, one White House spokesperson said this subpoena is ultimately uh, unfounded and unproven. It's a political attack against the Biden by Republicans, and it is doing this by floating anonymous innuendo. The FBI and DOJ have confirmed that they have received the subpoena from Comer's committee, and they have issued no comment with regards to those subpoenas. Biden's personal attorneys have also declined to comment. And uh, at the end of the day, what is going to be very interesting is that this is touching a Biden that has not been so far touched in the investigation. So far, we've been we've been looking at names around Joe Biden. This investigation is ultimately looking at Joe Biden himself. And yes, uh, Chanel, as Comer requests more information on that whistleblower form, all while Kirby dismisses all of this, um, this also comes as the Biden uh, White House has renewed pledges for military support to Ukraine. That's right. So about $300 million in renewed military aid has been pledged and announced by the Pentagon on Wednesday. This includes uh, a, an abundance of ammunition, howitzers, air-to-ground rockets, and uh, all of this is going to be geared towards Ukrainian use in their counteroffensive in the spring against Russia. This is all very interesting in parallel to, of course, those leaked Pentagon documents that came out earlier last month where it seemed to show that senior leadership at the Pentagon do not believe that a spring counteroffensive is going to be effective in the least. And so you have $300 million worth of military aid directly used toward the spring counteroffensive and the leadership top brass in the United States have no confidence that it would go well and it would succeed in its pushback against Russia. So that's that's very interesting. This is the 37th package that the Pentagon has sent over to Ukraine since the war began in February 2022. This brings our total U.S. military aid package to about $36 billion. So, of course, that the Bidens are contending with this bribery allegation at the FBI, and it's related to a foreign national that many suspect is Ukrainian, is, of course, terrible op going into election season 2024 as the taxpayer starts assessing what we're spending our money on and why.
Uh, yes, uh, One America's uh, Chief White House Correspondent Chanel Rion, live from the White House uh, with the latest on the uh, Biden White House. We feel so to comment on that Ukraine uh, bribe inquiry. Uh, Chanel, thank you for that report. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.